warmed up the horse and uh, as you can see we've got a vertical down to another vertical with some poles in between. And the idea of these poles is to get the horse to think. If you've got a horse that can think for you, they can get you out of trouble and they can also jump the jumps clear. So as we land over the first upright, we've got three and a half yards, which is an indication to the horse that it needs to bounce. So as soon as it lands, take off again. Then six yards, one short stride to another one stride to another bounce to the second jump. On the second stride, you can see I put two poles in. That's just to help guide the horse to keep straight. We're not built the jumps too big yet because I want the horse to just focus on where its toes are going. So if I get it there, it can then focus on lifting them toes out the way. Let's go and put it to practice. So the horse here has got quite a small stride and as you saw from that first attempt, it was real careful as it landed over the first pole, which was great. So I just sat still thinking in the horse is going to look and he actually got two strides in here and here and then a bounce at the end which is not ideal but what I like about it the horse kept its rhythm and um, still got to the jump in balance and did a great job. Now as a rider that's then got to get me to question what my next move is. So what we're going to do is we're going to lengthen the bounce pole Jasmine, to see if we can give the horse a little bit more room on landing so that we can keep that um, power and momentum in the canter so that we achieve the one stride that we wanted in the first place. Okay, so we've just jumped that after altering the distance slightly. I'm really pleased with that, but it just goes to show just because a normal distance is normal for most horses doesn't mean it is for every horse. And in training, you've got to take that into account. And she's got a very good jump, she's very careful, she can cover the ground, but a natural size of stride is quite small. So we've had to adapt the distance slightly so that we don't trick her, we don't uh, catch her out, because that's not the aim of the exercise. What we want her to do is to think where she's putting her feet, and when she thinks correctly, she's rewarded with a nice even jump. And as we uh, change that slightly, we got a lovely jump over the second element, and the distance became nice and even. Very happy. So we've done our um, warm-up techniques to get the horse thinking, get us thinking. And now what I quite like to do with all my horses is jump them around the course. So we get a feel for what it's going to be like in the ring. So we've put a few fences up and what I'm going to try and focus on is reacting to the feeling the horse is giving me. Keeping the power in the canter, my line straight and the canter balanced all the way to the takeoff spot. So let's go.